Now, these religious concepts have become the basis for most modern science fiction. Consider the Star Wars franchise with its good versus evil concepts, its messianic and redemptive themes. It inadvertently parallels the biblical narrative in many ways. You know, one of the early inspirational movies was the original 1951 classic, The Day the Earth Stood Still. Now, the main characters were actually a parody of biblical figures. A humanoid alien called Klaatu is sent to Earth as a representative of the Intergalactic Council to warn Earth's occupants about encroaching upon all the other peaceful alien civilizations with our newly found nuclear weapons. He places a robot, Gort, as an advanced super policeman to rule over human beings should they threaten other races beyond their own planet. Now we see that the alien threat canvasses the idea that we were going to be governed by a more evolved and advanced race. And this really played into the Cold War hysteria of the day. Join us and live in peace or pursue your present course and face obliteration. We shall be waiting for your answer. The decision rests with you. The alien Klaatu went to live among humans to understand more about them. And he took the name Carpenter. Jesus was a carpenter but he was killed by this aggressive and less evolved species who did not really understand his peaceful mission. And when Klaatu was returned to his spaceship, his lifeless body was resurrected by the robot Gort, harnessing the power of the Almighty Spirit. Hello? I thought you were. I was. He has the power of life and death? No, that power is reserved to the Almighty Spirit. The scriptwriter Edmund North actually commented on these similarities. It was my private little joke. I never discussed this angle. I hoped the Christ comparison would be subliminal.